Alright, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, back from the Ferret's first take, and today we're going to be looking at Pandora and the Crimson Shell Ghost Urn. So, earlier, um, before I, like, get totally into this review, I saw that, like, this, um, over, like, during, like, I don't know, it was, like, Anime Expo or something, this was, like, they had, like, a list of, like, the best manga of the year and the worst manga of the year, and I guess this was on the worst manga of the year list, and I had just read this at that point, and I've got to say, I do disagree with that, and so... At least with like some of the ones I saw on the list. But anyway, I just wanted to put that out there real quick and let's go ahead and talk about this for a little bit. Anyway, but I'm also not calling this like a super great series, but we'll get into that in a minute. And so this is an interesting book. Um, I do like the art style. Um, it's very, uh, it, it's nice. Um, how do I want to describe it? It's like light, but it's, it's nicely detailed, I guess you could say. And so it starts off with you're kind of on this boat and you're following this woman around a lot and I didn't write her name down. Why didn't I write her name down of all the people to write down? Anyway, so you start off with her, and you start, we meet, first meet our main character here, whose name is Nana, and it's Nana Conobornini. I don't know. It's, I'm just gonna call her Nana. But that's a lot easier. And so, at first, you think, so this is like set in a world where like technology is super, super advanced at this point. It's way beyond anything that we've ever had before. And so, you find out that you think she's a robot person thing, but you find out that she's actually still technically human. I believe it's her like brain is the only thing that's still human in her. She's like what they call a full body, but everything else about her is robotic. And so that was a really cool thing I thought. So you, sometimes you'll be able to like, see her like joints and stuff in her hands and like where like the breakups are. And so she's very rare like this and she gets confused a lot for being a robot. but. They're off to like this island that's supposed to be like this high tech island and like the best of the best. And you find out this woman also has a girl like her named Claron, who is also this like full body type robot, not robot thing. And so she kind of, the main character Nana has like a thing for Claron and they kind of had a, have a, a bit of a, I almost said bromance, but what do you call it? What do you call it when it's girls? I don't even know. I've never had to use the term before. And so anyway, you find out this this woman she has found uh, is really interesting. She's supposed to be really in power. And the thing from here is, is where I did sort of, I guess, find the book confusing. Um, Nana is off to see her, I think it's like aunt or grandmother or something like that. And she's like going to live on the island now. But like this like giant explosion happens and there's one of... The, the the woman from the beginning there, she like owns like these companies, I wish I could remember her name, this woman right here. I'm just gonna keep calling her the woman because I didn't do my research right. It's been like a two months, two weeks since I read it. But, and so, lots of problems going on. She's got like a robot of hers that has kind of gone out of control. And she's like, her staff is trying to like get her back to like help fix it. And so she, she kind of gets Nana to help her like get this robot back under control and she wants her to use this Pandora device and this is where I feel like maybe this is why the series got a bit of a, a down vote maybe from some people to like open the Pandora device is to like reach there specifically just just it's like what it's like only only an anime and manga folks will that ever happen but this like imports a program into Nana which gives her, I think it's like amazing shooting abilities, I think is what it was. So that was kind of neat, I thought, that she can like upload programs to herself. So I thought that was pretty freaking sweet in my opinion. And so we kind of go along with, they kind of team up into this Pandora mode thing. And they're going to go fight the, the massive, oh, where's the robot? Where's the robot? So the building's falling apart, lots of chaos is going on. And this is like a digger robot, or what do they call it, like the boring robot? And so this is where this is where um Claren goes to like get herself fixed up, which Nana seems to thoroughly enjoy. Cause she had gotten um so the Pandora thing also doesn't seem to last very long, so they only have limited time. So it kinda goes along, they have like this one shot to get here's the robot, they finally meet him, it's going out kind of out of control. And so lots of interesting things. It's it's a cool design, the robots are cool, the concepts were cool, but I guess the main thing I kind of thought about this book was I, I found it sort of confusing at times. Like, I was confused as to, like, it didn't really set things up very well, I didn't really think. Um, as far as, like, getting the story going, 
It was like really rushed and it kind of threw you all in. It was throwing all these things at you to remember. And it was, it was just a lot to try to take in. And so I think the concept of the story is really interesting. I like the designs, like especially like on the front here, like all the robotic designs and stuff like that. I thought were really cool and really well done artistically. And so like, I mean, look at this. This is just like sick and twisted and really interesting. But so I'm going, I'm going to keep reading this series. Um, this is not a series I would put so far high in the list of series I've reviewed, but I also would definitely not put it on like a worst manga of like 2015 list because I just don't agree with that. I don't think it was, um, I don't think it was deserving of a title like that. It's not the favorite book I've had, um, especially from Seven Seas lately because Seven Seas has been killing it. But I really like the art and I liked the characters. That was the other thing. I liked Nana and Clarion and Claron. And so I'm just hoping that the story does a better job of explaining what the hell's going on because there's lots of just you know switching of scenes and switching of characters and going to different places and buildings blowing up without really much warning or explanation so i just hope that in the next volume that kind of slows down a little bit and we kind of see where the series is going but anyway guys if you're interested in picking this up i hope you do um and if you do go ahead and tell me about it tell me if you liked it or dislike it or if you guys have already read it go ahead and tell me what you think in the comments maybe you thought it wasn't very good maybe you thought it was better than what i said it was so go ahead and let me know. And go ahead and leave a like on the video also if you want. Anyway, guys, I will see you back on the next video. Bye-bye.